good morning students we have already studied about saprophytic nutrition today we will study about the second type of heterotrophic nutrition that is parasitic nutrition before telling you about parasitic nutrition children uh, do you know what are parasites parasites are the organisms which live in or outside the other living organism and takes all the food from that okay like for example in uh, for uh, human beings what are the parasites that live on in on human beings like for example you have got mosquitoes mosquitoes what do they do mosquitoes take the food from our body okay so mosquito is a kind of parasites then you have got lice lice lives in the hair of human beings what are they they take the suck the blood from human body so lice that is a parasite so parasites these are the mosquitoes lice leech they are all the parasites which are found in human body okay uh, here we will study about the parasites which are found the parasitic plants so basically parasites are the organisms which live on or inside other living organism and derives its food from them and this kind of nutrition in which the organism takes food from other living organism is called as parasitic nutrition here parasitic nutrition is of two types okay the first one are total parasites and the second one are partial parasites okay now in total parasites what are these total parasites means these plants they cannot make their food the and totally they are dependent on their host what are host host means the animal on which they are living for example just now i told you mosquito mosquito and human being mosquito is the parasite and we human being are the host because they are sucking the blood from our body okay so host means the uh, organism from which the parasite is taking the food that is called as the host clear now the total parasites are fully dependent on the host for their food they cannot prepare their food at all and what are the examples the examples are cascuta in hindi we call it amarbel it is a stem parasite and rafflesia is a root parasite clear then we have got partial parasites partial parasites as the name indicates they are green in color okay they are green in color so they can make their own food but they take water and minerals from the host plant and what is the example the example is mistletoe m i s t is uh, what do you say it's silent okay uh, t is silent it is mistletoe it is a partial stem parasite and sandalwood a partial root parasite so that means these partial parasites can make their food but for water and minerals they depend on the host plant so i hope children that parasitic plants are clear to all of you now the third type of nutrition is the symbiotic nutrition okay now symbiotic nutrition is a type of nutrition in which two organisms live in close association okay that means close association means they live uh, together with each other and they both get benefit from each other okay they both get benefit from each other so that that is why and this condition is called as symbiosis okay and uh, one example of this is lichens okay the example of this is lichen and what is lichen in lichen two organisms one is algae and the another one is fungi they both live together in uh, lichen okay so there are two organisms algae is autotroph i have already told you algae is autotrophic it can prepare its own food whereas fungi it is a saprophyte this also you have studied okay so what do what does it do the fungus holds the algal cells in its mat of web like uh, hyphae and supplies them with water and minerals so how do they help each other the fungi it gives them water and 
minerals and in turn algae prepares food and supplies it to the fungi so you can see that both are getting benefit from each other okay the fungi and the algae so lichen is an is an example of symbiotic nutrition okay it is an example of symbiotic nutrition in the same way the rhizobium bacteria rhizobium bacteria lives in close association with the root nodules of leguminous plants okay now what are leguminous plants leguminous plants are the plants which have got legumes in their roots okay legumes in the root means see like this it is leguminous plant this is a pea plant okay jo uska root hota hai root mein dekho aise phoola phoola rehta you can see legumes round round na so these are the uh, root nodules jo root hai root ke andar nodules hote hain okay and inside this nodule ye jo nodule jo dikh raha hai inside this nodule lives the rhizobium bacteria okay inside this lives the rhizobium bacteria so this is also another example of symbiotic relationship okay now here what does it do uh, leguminous this is a leguminous plants like Legum examples of leguminous plants are pea plant groundnut beans all these plants are leguminous plants why are they called leguminous because their roots have got nodules as a phoola hota hai or inside the nodule lives the rhizobium bacteria okay now how do they help each other now uh, see the rhizobium bacteria what does the rhizobium bacteria do, does is the rhizobium bacteria converts the atmospheric nitrogen into the simple form okay you all know that in the in our atmosphere you have got nitrogen okay how much percentage you have got 78 percentage of nitrogen in the atmosphere but this nitrogen cannot be taken by the plants directly so what does this do this rhizobium bacteria takes this nitrogen and converts it into very simple form and by this what we can do this plant can make their protein plant protein okay and in turn what what are they doing rhizobium bacteria this leguminous plant is giving them shelter to live rhizobium bacteria is living in this nodules so you can see both are getting benefited from each other so this is a uh, example another example of symbiotic nutrition okay see you can very clearly see rhizobium is living inside it so that means it is getting shelter from leguminous plants and in uh, in return the rhizobium bacteria is fixing the nitrogen into simple proteins which can be used by the plants so i hope children that both the examples that is the example of rhizobium and the leguminous plant and the example of lichen which is a combination of algae and fungi is clear to all of you so uh, with this we have completed with heterotrophic nutrition clear children what were the three types of heterotrophic nutrition you all have studied just now i have explained all three of them the first one was saprotrophic in which they depend on dead and decaying organism the second was parasitic mode in which the organisms totally depend on the host plant okay and then the third one was symbiotic relationship in which two organisms live closely with each other and they both get benefit from each other and the example is rhizobium and lichen so read the chapter thoroughly till here thank you children